VMware vSphere 6.7 introduces vSphere Quick Boot, a new capability designed to reduce the time required for a VMware ESXi host to reboot. vSphere Quick Boot restarts the VMware ESXi hypervisor without rebooting the server hardware. In this video, Update Manager will be used to install a popular storage extension on two VMware ESXi 6.7 hosts. These hosts are identical except that one has QuickBoot intentionally disabled, so that it will restart using the normal reboot flow that also reboots the underlying server hardware. Host reboots occur infrequently, but are typically necessary after activities such as applying a patch to the hypervisor or installing a third-party component, such as a driver. Modern server hardware that is equipped with large amounts of RAM may take many minutes to perform device initialization and self-tests. The remote console for each physical server is shown on the screen. The one on the left is the QuickBoot host. QuickBoot eliminates the time-consuming hardware initialization phase by shutting down ESXi in an orderly manner and then immediately restarting it. In this scenario, you can see that the QuickBoot host has already finished restarting and is ready for operation, while the other host is just beginning to load the hypervisor files from disk. In large clusters that are typically remediated one host at a time, it's easy to see how this new technology can significantly shorten time requirements for data center maintenance windows. vSphere QuickBoot is an innovative technology from VMware and one of many reasons why vSphere 6.7 is the efficient and secure platform for your hybrid cloud.